It all began just after 3 p.m. on June 4th, 2004. This guy right here, Marv Hemeyer, took his bulldozer that he fitted with armor plating and went on a rampage through the town of Granby, Colorado, destroying businesses and buildings of people that he felt had done him wrong. This is a picture of his armor-plated bulldozer that he created in his workshop, and it's the one that he used to cause a lot of damage. They said about $7 million worth of damage in the small town of Gamby. And this is another photo of his massive device that he created, which eventually became known as Killdozer. They called it Killdozer. Even though it didn't kill anybody, they still called it Killdozer. It was in this building that he constructed the Killdozer, and when it was time to put his plan into action, he burst through the wall of his workshop and began the destructive path. As you can see, this is the hole he made when he came out of his workshop, and he actually went around back, and you can see one of the buildings he destroyed back here. Granby is in the center and northern part of the state of Colorado. Here's Granby, and Marv he Meyer's shop was actually at the west end of the town, and it's this building right here. From the photo, you could see that he burst out through this section, and what he did was he, I'm not sure what path he took, if he came around through here, but he ended up destroying this building right here, which is the Mountain Park Concrete Building. First he destroyed this one, and then another of the Mountain Park Concrete Buildings he went back and destroyed was this one, and that's the one you can see in the photo just behind his building. After he destroyed this building and this building, he came back out onto the highway, made a left turn, and headed down to the next building he destroyed, which was right here, and that's the Mountain Park's electric building. He came through here, destroyed that building, continued on, and hit the offices of the Maple Street Builders, which I believe at the time was right here. It's no longer here. It's now more in the center of town, but I'm pretty sure this is where it was when he destroyed it. Now from this location, he went down West Agate Avenue, turned left on Mesa Street, came up to this street turned right on East Jasper Avenue, came down through here, and in this corner right here, this is where the city hall used to be, and he totally destroyed that. This street used to go all the way through, but the new city hall has been built on top of it. So he came through here, destroyed the city hall, went across the street, and right in here was the police station, and he destroyed that too. And here is a picture of the city hall after he ran through it with the killdozer. And right across the street from the city hall, here was the police station and some of the damage he caused after he also hit this building with the killdozer. Now, after he destroyed the city hall and the police station, he went down Jasper Avenue, turned right on 1st Street, came down through here and took out the front of this bank right here. We'll go down to Street View. The Liberty Savings Bank went through the front of this with the bulldozer and messed that building up pretty bad. And here is the photo taken of the bank shortly after the killdozer went through the front of it. You can see the damage that he caused. Also right here on the corner there was a fire hydrant there that he ran over. And back here on Google Earth you can see where the fire hydrant was. It's no longer there obviously, but this is the place where he came through and did some serious damage to Liberty Savings Bank. Now from here he continued on, and the next building that he struck was down the road. It's actually right here. It's called the Sky High News. He didn't like them because he felt that the news had wronged him. And it was right through here that he went in and completely destroyed the building. Came right through the center of it, went down, actually kind of off to the left side of it, went down, did a U-turn, came back up and pushed all these cars, or the cars that were there at the time, pushed them all into the street. Here is the actual footage of him going through the front of the Sky High News, collapsing the building. And here's the footage of him coming back and pushing all the cars out of the parking lot alongside the Sky High building. 
So from here, came out, pushed vehicles out into the street, made a right turn, and headed down the road. I'm going to turn this north. Now the next place he went was all the way down here. Came down through here, made a left turn, and then went up into here, destroyed buildings here that were owned by people that he felt had wronged him. He went through this house right here, totally destroyed it. It was the former mayor of Gamby, and he had passed away, so his widow, Thelma Thompson, was living there at the time. So after he caused damage in here, he went across over to here, and this was the main storage for Thompson and Sons excavation right in here. Well, he came back and headed down this road. And he was heading for the propane tanks right here, which was the independent gas company. And he actually t turned the bulldozer or the killdozer around right here, faced the blade against this piece of concrete here, and fired his 50 caliber rifle at these propane tanks in an attempt to blow them up. And here's some news footage of him in that location. And you can see it's been sped up. This is the the concrete he turns around. There's a gas pump here, the concrete piece here. He faces it, fires his 50 caliber out, tries to blow up the gas tanks. So here he is heading out. He meets up with the scraper. They kind of have a run-in, and this this run-in, the exact location of this run-in, occurred right here at this intersection. The scraper stopped in front of him. He just came up, pushed it out of the way, and that's where that occurred. Now, if we go back, you can see right here, I'll go down to street view. You can see the embankment, and this is the place where he had his bulldozer up against the embankment while he was shooting his 50 caliber rifle out of the right side of his killdozer trying to blow up these propane tanks. Fortunately, that didn't happen. Now, after he left this area right here, came down this road, turned left, and made it down to right here, where he came up on the curb, took out the light post, came through here, took out the corner of this building, came around and ran the bulldozer through this building here. Down here at Street View. You can see here, bulldozer came through here, took out this light post, took out the corner of this building, hit the front of the store here, front here, first hit it here, then hit it here, and then came back and went right down the side of this building right here. And here you can see in this footage where he comes up from the street onto the curb, takes out the light post, takes out the corner of that building I pointed out to you, and then eventually works his way around the front of Gambles, goes right down the side of it. They put the scraper in place here to try to keep him from coming back out. As he continues on, you can see him destroying everything here. And it's right about in this corner where the bulldozer actually gets stuck and stops. Right there. So back here on Google Earth, I will exit Street View, and you can see, go back down to Street View back here. This is the location where it actually finally stopped and where Marv Hemeyer took his own life and the whole killdozer incident came to an end. I'm going to back up to the beginning and go over here where it all began. And I want to take a look at this building right here. If you go down to Street View, you can get a visual on this building right here. That's as close as I can get on Google Earth, but you can see the windows right here, and you can see this side of the building right here. It's been rebuilt since it's been damaged in 2004, but this is what the building looks like now. And here's an aerial photo of it. You can see what he did to that building. 
If you look close, you can actually see a motorhome parked in here. So this kind of gives you an idea of the size of the building and the extent of the damage that he created. So there you have it. The Killdozer's route and locations in Gamby, Colorado, right here from Google Earth.